welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Um, you said you did. Um, I just want to say how serious this is. It, it makes it money for endometriosis and for women's aid. We're all here trying to do our best. So I just want to say a congratulations to each and everyone here for the past eight weeks. You've been amazing. You helped us. Anyway, we've heard our relationships are really important. The last comedian said about relationships. And, and my wife, Mary Ann, she's a lovely woman. Absolutely beautiful woman, you know. Very kind. I, I love her dearly. But we went to Ikea yesterday. And what is the fuck with pebbles? The fucking candles in Ikea. You know? You go in. And the front room looks like my bayer. You know, it's like Kendall. It's fucking unreal. Anyway, we're in there. And she says to me, we've run out of money. I said, that's all right, darling. No worries. We go to the bank. I love her dearly. I really do. So we goes in the, we goes in the bank. And all of a sudden, we walk in. Bang. Fucking three men running. Fucking bank robbers. One of them had his balaclava just down below his face. We've all dropped to the floor. Anyway, one of them turns around to a bloke over there. He says, do you see me? The bloke goes, yeah. Fucking shoot him. He then goes to another fella. He goes, do you see me? He goes, yeah. He fucking shoots him. <laughs> he turns to me. He said, do you see me? I said, no, she fucking did. <laughs> So, we were in our queue and I bump into Single Dave. Yeah, Single Dave's a lovely bloke. He really is Single Dave. Yeah, and he, he told me he went to a brothel, paraplegic brothel on Friday. He said the floor was crawling with pussy. No, it was, um... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. oh I've lost, lost my daughter and, oh, God. Anyway, and uh, my wife Mary, she loves Katie Price. She loves Katie Price. She's telling me about a documentary the other day that she watched about a documentary. A teacher interviewing the three children, you know, junior, um, Princess and Harvey. Oh, God. And uh, so the teacher, she says, yes. The teacher says to, uh, to the princess, what do you want to be when you grow up? She said, I want to be like my mum. So I want to be on the stage and be in lights and be glamorous and be fantastic. And the teacher said, I think you're going to do that. She said, off she went, skip all the way. She says, young junior. She says, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I want to be like my dad. Up there in lights, on the stage, dancing, and a mysterious woman and all that, giving it out. Fantastic. Says to Harvey. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? He says, I want to be a teacher, miss. She says, fuck off, you can't control your own pupils. <laughs> now, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, my age, you, 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 you should have your prostate checked, you know, which I did. A serious note, I get your prostate checked. It's a serious note, you know. And what's the worst thing you can feel when having your prostate checked? Two hands on your shoulders. Now, you know, it's, it's not right, you know. Don't let it prevent you. You've got to go there, you've got to go there. And honestly, and uh, uh, it's worse than they talk about. And, and, an old single day, he bought his blind mate uh, a cheese grater. And he, single Dave said to me, he said, uh, he rang him up three days later, he said, oh, uh, Desperate Pete rang me up. He said, yeah. He said, it was the worst horror story he's ever read. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, dear. What? What's the worst thing? What's the worst thing? What's, the worst thing? Uh, what's one of the benefits of a hooker, hooker dying on you in session? You get the second hour free, you know? <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Oh, boy, George, he's been banned from the, uh, the, uh, the, the lizard section in London Zoo. Yeah, he kept coming, coming, coming on the chameleons, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. They always say, you know, you're going to find the love of your life, you know, when you least expect it. You know, you're going to see her. I want the fuck her over, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is wrong. This is so wrong. <laughs> this is so wrong. <laughs> What's, the What's the difference between an escaped prisoner and an orphan? 
only one of them's wanted. No, <laughs> really, so. Really, what I do want to say, I know time, I just want to give 30 seconds to my beautiful daughter and her partner, Lisa. Yeah, I love you from the bottom of my heart. My daughter is seven months pregnant. I love her, I love her dearly. And I say a special thanks to Rebecca. Rebecca is an amazing woman who inspires so many people. I just want to say thank you, Rebecca, for coming and all you do, and all my friends and that over there. You know, without you, I wouldn't get out Emma, Sue, Tracy. So all of you, have a fantastic day. And guess what? Come back. Oh, 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 oh,